If poetry was illegal, I would write words on the sky in smoke signals so my comrades could read them from their prison windows. If poetry was illegal, I would sneak similes across the border in tunnels and let them mate with the nouns of the promised land and you will witness some duplicate and witness some growing sea. Words have always broken down the walls between us, so whatever Trump builds will hold no weight when we can dig our way through concrete poems. If poetry was illegal... I would open up speakeasies across the UK and the only way to gain access would be to type a sonnet in at the door in Morse code if poetry was illegal. We would lose half the world's peaceful people. Folks would buy bags of verbs on street corners and take them home to get a quick fix of a line. If poetry was illegal, I would walk into the House of Commons, whip out a submachine verse from within a violin case and hold up the place with my internal rhymes. If poetry was illegal... The world would be run by Philistines who make cuts to the arts and segregate the poor. Oh wait, that's a real world. If poetry was illegal, I would host dinner parties with Britain's ten most wanted and we would brazenly boast about how many competitors we had murdered in a slam. If poetry was illegal, finding a rhyming word for orange would gain you the life sentence and possibly execution. I would try my luck with half rhymes like door hinge and porridge and turn myself into the authorities purely for the reason that the slamming of the police car doors would create onomatopoeia. I would answer no comment to every question so it would create repetition. I would request for my last meal to be paper and ink so I could write a poem inside my mouth with the last words I scream on the electric chair and I would make it all rhyme just to say a big fuck you one last time if poetry was illegal. Paper planes would be treated as terrorist threats if poetry was illegal, biros would be age-restricted products if poetry was illegal, you would not take me home to meet your parents. But I would write you love letters from the back of some burnt-out bookshop, I would etch the words of my life into the walls with a scalpel tongue so the generations of the future may discover me beside what will then be hieroglyphics if you never find me in time to save me. I'm in my early twenties, so assuming I live to my eighties, so far I have one quarter of these quatrain walls covered.